What's going on guys, it's Jake. Just yesterday, I made a video talking about the brand new season of Beyblade Burst called Dynamite Battle. We went over some of the new Koro Koro pictures that came out, but Takara Tomy just released a bunch of super high quality pictures that give us really good looks at this next series of Beyblade Burst. So let's talk about it. Takara Tomy released images for the brand new Dynamite Belial, 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 I'm trying still. Dynamite Belial, the brand new random booster, a new LR launcher, which is really cool, and the new starter set. Lots of stuff to talk about, but first, let's hit that like button, get this video up to a thousand likes, that would be awesome. Hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, and make sure you hit that bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload a new video. But now it's time to talk about the news. So guys, the first bay that we're going to be looking at is going to be the starter, which is Dynamite Belial. And I think it looks really cool. We've already seen what this bay looks like, so there's not really too many surprises. There are a couple though. For example, we know what the box is going to look like. And it's just kind of long for no reason. I definitely like the, uh, the sparking boxes a little bit better but it is just a box. It doesn't really matter that much. But we actually have a couple of pictures of the bay itself. In one picture, we have the bay with just kind of the gold core or the gold kind of metal weight in there that we've already known about. But in another picture, we can actually see that there's a piece of armor kind of covering up the gold section. And this armor part, I actually talked about before in my last video, but we know it's called negative two kind of an interesting name and from what I've heard these armor pieces can either go on top or they can go kind of underneath the bay just to kind of change up the weight distribution a little bit and that's a pretty cool gimmick although I definitely want to see more of it and kind of try it out myself next up we have the random booster with Cyclone Ragnarok what is interesting though is that I think this is actually going to be releasing in May because all of the other releases are already listed on Amazon, but this one isn't, so it might get released at a later time. But looking at the random booster, you can see that it has the same kind of long style box as Dynamite does, and I really like the way that this random booster looks. I like all the bays that are included, especially Cyclone Ragnarok. I think it looks awesome. Taking a closer look at all the bays that are included with this random booster, the first one we have is a remake for Dragoon V2. I really do like this bay a lot. It's probably one of my favorite looking plastic bays, and I really do think it's a fan favorite as well. It looks really cool. Next up, we have a blue and purple recolor of Hell Kerbix. And if you guys didn't know, Hell Kerbix is actually my favorite Beyblade Metal Series Bay, so I'm definitely going to try and pick this one up as well. Next up, we have an Infinite Death Scyther with a white sword attachment to it. This bay looks really, really sick. I love that we're also getting the sword attachment in there as well, so it definitely makes it more of a valuable pickup. I liked the infinite ring, maybe some of you guys out there didn't, but I liked it and I like this recolor a lot. For the final sparking bay, we actually have Brave Wyvern. Love the way this bay looks. I think just black and red is a color scheme that just could work so well on Valkyrie, but you just don't see it that often. But I really do like the kind of evil black and red color they have going on. And I hope we see more Sparking Bays release with these kind of more wacky-ish color schemes. The last two bays in this random booster are actually the same. Uh, we have two releases of Cyclone Ragnarok. Of course, the main one is the anime color where it's orange and blue with all the anime accurate parts. But for the recolor, it's actually pretty cool looking. It's like this white and pink color. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. Of course, the original version is better, but it is cool that in this random booster, you get two versions of Ragnarok. And also, all the bays that you get in this random booster are really good. There's no GT bays. There's no Chosey bays. Of course, we don't actually know how good Cyclone Ragnarok is. It could be a complete dud. It could be really, really bad. But so far, this random booster looks really cool. 
it's probably one of the better ones we've seen in a long time so now guys moving on past the random booster we actually have a new lr bay launcher and it has a pretty interesting redesign it is just a basic black color but i'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing more recolors come out for this launcher in the future especially because it looks like you can customize your launcher i mean looking at the picture you can see that the launcher is in three different segments uh why i'm not sure i'm thinking maybe it's customization or maybe you use these pieces for this new system somehow but that's pretty cool because if one part breaks i'm pretty sure it'd be easier to get a replacement part and speaking of break i really hope these launchers are more durable i feel like i say this for every single launcher that gets released for payblade burst sparking launchers were like okay i've had one that broke a lot of beyblade geeks launchers broke so hopefully we can get a durable launcher for once and last thing to talk about guys is going to be the brand new set uh this one's definitely pretty different from all of the other starter sets that we've seen before because this only comes with one bay now a few weeks ago we actually got pictures of a brand new stadium and i talked about it in one of my videos but that is the stadium that is in this set so it looks to be a little bit wider. It only has two pockets compared to three that we normally see. Um, but mainly it being wider. That's kind of what I care about. Hopefully the stadium's bigger than the normal like standard stadium. But in this set, you have the stadium. You have a kind of basic looking launcher grip. It doesn't look like it's a new design or anything. You have the redesigned LR launcher. But this time it's not fully black. It's black with red pieces and of course we have a start set kind of limited version of dynamite's belial but we don't have a second bay to battle it against which is odd and another thing that's odd is that when you think about it we're only getting one bay at the start of this new season yes we do have cyclone ragnarok but that's not listed on amazon yet so we can't see when it releases typically at the start of a new beyblade burst season we'll have like three bays release for sparking we had king helios super hyperion and glide ragnarok and right now it's looking like we're getting one we've got dynamite belial and then maybe cyclone but that could be released at a different time and why do you guys think that is why are we getting just one bay at the start instead of three could that mean we're going to be getting less Beyblades in general throughout this next year? Or do you think maybe these Bays were delayed or something? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that, guys, is going to wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to go over some of the awesome pictures that Takara Tomy released. But what do you think about these new Dynamite releases? What do you think about the random booster of Belial, of the launcher even? And is there anything that you guys are worried about for this new season? Like I said, I'm worried about only getting two bays in the first two months. That kind of sucks. Hopefully that means we'll be getting more later. I'm not really sure. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. We're trying to hit 1,000 likes. Hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation. And also, I am pretty sure that pre-orders for this stuff is going to be coming out on Mall of Toys pretty soon. I actually have a link for Mall of Toys in the description down below, and that helps out the channel. And if you've never ordered from Mall of Toys before, use code one Linux for 10% off. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.